Valhalla keeps knocking it out of the park. The maker of some of the best VST reverbs that you can buy just updated their Valhalla Supermassive Reverb to version 2.0 for 2022. And you can't buy this plugin because it's free. I've actually fallen in love. Look at the specs this thing has. It has both delay and reverb, 16 different modes, and 128 presets. How is this thing free? It's a steal at 50 bucks. Well, it's because Valhalla is just awesome. Let's look at the two new modes, Aquarius and Pisces, both of which are echo verbs. Aquarius is like the little brother, and Pisces is like the big brother. You've been listening to Pisces in the background for the last 20 plus seconds, as I have the feedback turned almost all the way up and the density all the way down, which means your repeats will keep on repeating, but there won't be any reverb. But if you turn the density up, and you add in the reverb, and if you have it high enough, it's almost like a freeze effect. And here's something very useful. If you adjust your high and low cutoffs so that they are very close together, you can narrow the range of reverb so it doesn't muddy the sound, and obscure the original sound. Here's something that's just fun. Take Pisces, turn the mix up to around 90%, put your delay at 300 milliseconds, and the warp at zero. Turn your feedback up to around 75% and the density at 100% and then set the mod like so. If I switch from Pisces to Aquarius, you'll hear that the feedback is greatly reduced. So it's more of a cleaner, shorter echo. Which brings me to the final trick. And for this, you'll need to hit the record on your DAW to capture the sound. Use a high feedback and a high density. Play a range of notes and let it ride for a second. Then hit the delay knob. Instant tape pitch shift. Each mode sounds different with this as well. If we go back to the Pisces, you get that big reverb wave effect when you do this. And if you use something like the Great Annihilator, you can get a wave or wind noise type effect. Let's switch to guitar to show off a few of the other modes. The Cygnus X1 preset works great with guitar, as it has a slow attack that doesn't cover up the initial pluck sound of the guitar, plus it has some nice modulation. Happy Little Clouds is another one to use with guitar, as it mimics a tremolo plus reverb. Finally, Billions and Billions is just ambient guitar dreamland. If you want to see more of Supermassive in action, click on one of my previous videos. Or even better yet, Check out Chords of Orion, who is just a master at ambient guitar and really shows off what Supermassive can do at the link below. Thanks for watching today. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.